What's up people, welcome back to another video. Today's video I want to tell you why the 2018 iPad Pro is better than the 2020 iPad Pro. Let's get into it. Yes, the 2018 iPad Pro is better than the 2020 iPad Pro, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have a 2020 iPad Pro and you are happy with it, good for you. I'm happy for you. I hope you enjoy it, all that. But this is more for students or people on, who are looking to upgrade their iPad, maybe from a 2017 10.5 inch iPad Pro, or they're looking to upgrade from that old iPad 4th gen that's just been sitting around collecting dust. There isn't much to offer in the line of iPad Pro and over the 2018 model. Yes, you get lighter, but that's more of a gimmick at this point. There isn't much application that is available for us, apart from augmented reality apps. Maybe if you're an app developer and you want to test your apps that run on augmented reality, maybe then you could avail of that iPad Pro. But that's pretty much it. It has an ultra wide camera, do you need the ultra wide camera on an iPad? You probably don't, let's be real. Then the specs inside, the iPad Pro in 2018 rocks an A12X Bionic processor and the iPad Pro from 2020 rocks an A12Z Bionic processor, which is literally just the same processor, but it's has unlocked a few extra GPU cores. For most people, the iPad Pro from 2018 will be a fabulous deal. And I cannot say how gorgeous that display looks. It's the same display. It's literally the same iPad pretty much. You still get your smart keyboard folio support. So if you want to get the new Magic Keyboard folio support, sorry, you can do that. You can still get accessories, official Apple accessories for the older iPads at a cheaper price now. You can get the newer accessories and they'll still fit, but they'll have a, big, a bigger cutout, obviously. Similar to what happened when people put iPhone 8 cases under iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 Plus cases under iPhone 6 Plus. Things like that, little things. But... It's the same iPad pretty much, same Apple Pencil 2 support, so you're not getting any advantages there. The display, basically the same. The USB-C, same. Speakers, basically the same. But for people who are looking to get their next daily driver iPad, get this one, the 2018 iPad. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you picking up a 2018 iPad? Did you pick up a 2020 iPad Pro? Uh, what were you upgrading from? Let me know all that and more in the comment section below.